Item Number SCP-7181 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures Due to the nature of SCP-7181's manifestations and its targeted demographic, physical containment measures are not feasible. Instead, containment efforts should focus on monitoring and tracking potential instances of SCP-7181, as well as ensuring information regarding its anomalous properties is properly controlled and restricted. The lead research team is to investigate reports of SCP-7181 manifestations. The team should respond to any potential instances of SCP-7181, secure the area, and conduct interviews with affected individuals, their families, and medical professionals involved. Amnestics should be administered as necessary to maintain the secrecy of SCP-7181. Foundation web monitoring algorithms are to scan for any mentions of anomalous nursing homes or accounts describing experiences similar to SCP-7181. Individuals who make such claims should be discreetly approached and, if necessary, interviewed and administered amnestics. Description SCP-7181 refers to a small plot of land, measuring approximately 5,000 square meters, situated within Kansas City, Missouri. The exact location varies and has been observed to manifest in different areas within the city's limits. SCP-7181 typically appears as an unremarkable building resembling a nursing home, which can only be perceived and interacted with by individuals in the late stages of terminal illness, with a prognosis of imminent death. Once an individual within proximity of SCP-7181 meets the specified criteria, they will perceive the structure as a hospice or nursing home facility. The interior layout and design of SCP-7181 vary, depending on the perceived person's moral character and actions throughout their lifetime. SCP-7181-1 designates the anomalous phenomena observed within instances of SCP-7181. SCP-7181-1 encompasses the distinctive interior characteristics and psychological influences present within SCP-7181, serving to establish a sanctuary-like environment for individuals nearing the end of their lives. The interior architecture of SCP-7181-1 is subject to personalized customization, meticulously tailored to the preferences, memories, and emotional well-being of each individual inhabitant. The walls are adorned with artwork specifically chosen to align with the person's personal interests and aesthetic preferences. The artwork exhibits dynamic properties, utilizing perceptual manipulation to create an immersive and ever-evolving atmosphere. A salient feature of SCP-7181-1 is the repeatedly playing lullaby-like music emitted from strategically placed speakers throughout the premises. This auditory stimulus induces a profound psychological effect on the occupants, inducing a perpetual state of relaxation and comfort. Central to the experiential framework of SCP-7181-1 is an extensive collection of bookshelves distributed throughout the facility. These bookshelves house a multitude of portraits and photographs, each capturing the individual's most joyful and cherished memories. Despite their static nature, the photographs display anomalous properties, imbued with subtle movements akin to recorded video footage. When interacted with by the intended recipient, the photographs emit audio correlating with the depicted memory, affording the individual the opportunity for introspection and contemplation of their life experiences. The encompassed memories depicted within the photographs exhibit significant diversity, encapsulating pivotal life events, personal achievements, and instances of profound happiness. Occupants of SCP-7181-1 frequently engage in protracted periods of perusing the photographic collection, employing the interactive nature of the images as a catalyst for reflection during their final moments. It should be emphasized that SCP-7181-1 is predominantly perceived and experienced exclusively by individuals deemed suitable based on their moral integrity and ethical conduct throughout their lives. Assessment criteria for eligibility involve the assessment of sustained virtuous behavior and ethical decision-making. SCP-7181-1 is postulated to function as a form of reward or sanctum, specifically designed to cater to those individuals who have consistently adhered to a morally upright path. SCP-7181-2 designates the anomalous phenomena observed within instances of SCP-7181 exclusively for individuals who have not upheld a morally innocent life. 
Access to SCP-7181-2 is granted to these individuals upon entering SCP-7181. The architectural configuration and anomalous characteristics of SCP-7181-2 are tailored to evoke pronounced psychological distress, encompassing a range of fear, agitation, and paranoia. Upon entry into SCP-7181-2, the interior surfaces are adorned with a diverse array of artistic expressions, deliberately selected to embody the subject's personal antipathies and anxieties. These artistic renderings are intricately designed to exploit and augment the individual's underlying insecurities, intensifying their psychological torment. The thematic contents of the artwork are meticulously tailored to the specific individual, considering their personal aversions and past traumas. Furthermore, SCP-7181-2's internal space incorporates concealed sound-emitting devices that produce a low-frequency auditory signal, surpassing the audible range of human perception. This subsonic frequency exerts profound psychoacoustic effects on the affected individual, provoking a persistent state of fear, restlessness, and paranoia. The subliminal influence of the frequency amplifies the individual's anxiety and contributes to the progressive deterioration of their mental state while within SCP-7181-2. An extensive assortment of portraiture and photographic depictions is prominently displayed, each capturing the subject's most distressing memories and traumas. These visual representations possess the unique anomalous characteristic of emitting audible sound, with multiple memories concurrently reverberating. The confluence of visual and auditory stimuli overwhelms the affected individual, heightening their agitation and exacerbating their psychological distress. Over time, the affected individual undergoes a perceptual transformation within SCP-7181-2. They develop delusions, wherein the memories encapsulated in the depicted photographs manifest physically, initiating an apparent pursuit of the individual. This illusionary conviction elicits an intense fear response, compelling the individual to engage in evasive actions. However, SCP-7181-2 undergoes continual spatial reconfiguration, generating an environment characterized by labyrinthine dynamics, effectively impeding all attempts at escape. Ultimately, the psychological and physiological well-being of the affected individual progressively declines, culminating in either fatal cardiac arrest or loss of consciousness. Typically, the subject's lifeless remains are discovered in close proximity to SCP-7181, frequently in locations offering relative accessibility while maintaining a proximity to the initial encounter with the anomaly. It is imperative to underscore that the manifestation of SCP-7181-2's anomalous attributes appears to selectively target morally compromised individuals or those significantly implicated in grievous transgressions throughout their lifetime. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.